for this video. Hello! Okay, kidding, hold up. I need to go get a water. And when I'm by the Mrs. Dolphire, <laughs> where we have, when she was like, hello, with a new fake face. Yes, I'm also getting a pack of brushers. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. I'm putting the hat on the fox. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> I don't like the gushes because they look creamy inside. They go a little bit clean. It's juicy! <laughs> Little backdrop real quick before we get into this video. This was supposed to be uploaded Tuesday, unfortunately. Monday night, I had very scary prodromal labor. Mm -hmm. I will have a video uploaded in the next few days as well, additional to this one, about what happened. And it will also include my hospital bag, what's in my hospital bag, because we were not prepared. I did not have a hospital bag made. You should have seen Jared the panic just everything we were also 45 minutes away from home when it happened and anyways so i will have a video for you guys about what happened details into exactly what was going on i was going into labor my body stopped it thankfully because you gotta marinate in there a little bit longer please <laughs> yeah he's gotta cook a little bit more <laughs> so I will have a what's in my hospital bag with that video and it's cool to see because as you guys know i've already had one child she's five and it's good to know like what you packed before and what you really need because i had like q-tips and all this random stuff in my first hospital bag but when you're a first time mom you know you know the deal you just go overboard and that's fine you know there's nothing wrong with that don't let anyone tell you it's wrong do your thing what you're comfortable with because if you need something who knows so anyways <laughs> Let's get, get Paul <laughs> Let's get on into this baby haul. Oh, yeah! These bins I put all in my registry. They're so freaking cute, and people actually put the gifts in the bins, some of them. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever. But Jared's mom got this bin for us. All these bins are going to be going in the nursery. And I'm not sure exactly what's going to go in them yet, but I will once I do the nursery, which, by the way, will be uploaded late this weekend early next week i was waiting for one item to come in from amazon that just got delivered today it's wednesday today to do the nursery and finish it and i had to wait for that to be able to do it so let's get on into this so we got some sensory toys this one's so cute this is perfect when they're small like the little crinkly ears and stuff we got a bunny <laughs> this is for the um blah, blah, blah. What am I saying? I almost said stroller. This is for the friggin' what is wrong with me? This is for the car seat. car seat. Yes, thank you. This is for the car seat. It is so cute, and you like hang it on there. It ropes right on. A cute rattle here. Little beads in it from that book, The Caterpillar. If you guys have ever seen that book before, you definitely have, have because the popular kids book. A cooling teether, which is friggin' awesome. These are my favorite ones. You just throw them in the freezer and they're really good for their gums and oral development, especially when they're teething. You know, you gotta get them teethers because they're not happy gals when that happens. Pacifiers, these are my favorite kind. They're the MAM pacifiers. Kenley loved these. She also ended up loving Dr. Brown's pacifiers near the end when she was getting a bit bigger. But these are six months and these are zero and up these are the like newbornish pacifiers they're opened because we had them in the hospital bag that hospital bag was not prepared the way i wanted it to so <laughs> i just junked the whole thing and that's why i'm making a video on it washcloths here 10 pack washcloths a three pack of hooded towels and 20 washcloths which i think is friggin awesome that's a really good deal all this stuff is amazon this is an amazon baby shower so if you guys are looking for specific products that i have shown on here just comment down below or message me and i'll try to point you in the right direction got a nursery kit here i was surprised that we can even find one of these you definitely need one of these it's a complete nursery kit it comes with clippers the booger, nose sucker, a teether, toothbrush, hairbrush, combs, um, thermometer. You know, it comes with all your necessities for a baby when they're small. I've used everything in any of my uh, nursery kits. 
and I was actually surprised that we could find one because or my mom bought it but I was surprised that she was able to get one because with COVID a lot of the thermometer kid even kits were sold out so I was like nervous that I wasn't going to be able to find one to add to bathing I kind of tried to organize things together but we know that that doesn't always work so I bought these made by Carter's it's two hooded towels an elephant and an owl and it has some washcloths in it as well and then this one's a elephant. duck yeah this one's a duck and a, I believe an elephant or no it's a duck and a bear I lied with some washcloths as well I just love the hooded towels for the babies bundle them up and you put the hood on I love them yeah I wish I have I wish they have them for a big, like five. They do. Kids. They do. They do. Could you buy me one? Yeah, if you're really good. The four-in-one convertible carrier. I just like the simple ones. I've seen the wraps and stuff, but for me, I just feel like I would not know how to do it, or I would just be like ridiculous trying to get it on, or I would just not do it tight enough, and that would be horrifying. So yeah, we got a carrier. So this basket is like changing table items and changing items nursery items <laughs> so first thing we got here is a bear crib sheet that's so freaking cute it's gray and white flannel changing pad cover don't be surprised about how much flannel is in this haul because girl i love that flannel another flannel changing pad cover this one is gray and white very nice to have multiple changing pad covers for first time moms especially because you don't want to always have to wash you know your one changing pad cover because there's going to be accidents it's prone to happen you know there's leaks and whatever else and another good addition to that talking about that is changing pad liners so these are bamboo waterproof changing pad liners so these actually go in the middle of the changing pad cover they're not the whole size of a changing pad so it looks like this so it goes right in the middle and this one actually has grips on it it's really nice quality so yeah this one's waterproof I guess but you lay this out over the changing pad cover and say you know they have an accident or they go you know something spills on there you can just rip this puppy off and wash this and you just salvaged you know your changing pad covers life so you don't have to take it off and wash it so these are good to have and this is a three pack but this sign this is for Kenley and her brother I thought that was so cute Jared's mom and dad got that for them this sign as well let him sleep for when he wakes he will move mountains I thought that was so cute it's like a wooden sign we also got these for the nursery these are so freaking cute you're gonna laugh at the first picture it's hilarious look at this guy <laughs> like hello so these are gonna be put in white frames and hung up like squares or straight down depending on what wall I put them on but we got an owl we got a raccoon, a deer, look how cute he is, oh my gosh. And then we got a bunny, a organizer here. This is a bear organizer. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put in it yet. Probably smaller items like pacifiers or a couple washcloths. I don't know yet, but I usually figure that out once I'm organizing the nursery, which I'll be doing the rest of this week. This is a really good thing to have. I love these for the closet. It is a huge organizer. It's like an accordion right now, <laughs> but it basically, that's the top. You like Velcro it up on the, the wood of the pole in your closet or whatever you have up there. And it's huge. Like I can't even hold it up, but we had one for Kenley and it was friggin' awesome because we stored like her washcloths in there, towels for the bath, um, changing pad covers, extra ones. We put her bows, her shoes, we put um what else we put extra sheets some blankets it fits a lot of stuff and you can just have everything on hand right there if you need it you just pop open the closet and you grab it i just i love those organizers they're definitely lots of help for extra storage this is very 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 highly recommended by me for diaper bags this is like a necessity it's the munchkin Arm and Hammer um, diaper bag dispensers. It's like a dog poop bag, but for babies. And when you're on the go, say you don't have a trash to throw a diaper in, like there's nothing around you. That's happened on many occasions. You can just pop the bag open, put the diaper in, 
tie it up and throw it in the car if you need to use two if there's a stinky stinky poop but honestly these have such good protection for odor and I've just always needed and used them. They're just really, really good to have. I've even used them for like trash of my own in my car. So definitely recommend those. We got some cute blankets here. I have some plaid ones here. This is from Jared's mom and dad with really soft inside. I love having blankets like these to throw over their car seat or just to bundle them up and throw on the floor for them to play with toys at friends' houses or if you're away. They're just, it's really nice to have blankets like these. I also got a plaid one. This one's really cute. I got that from my auntie I love Sarah. That one. Yeah, me too. It's my favorite. Moose one. This one's from my mom, of course. Got another moose one. This one's so soft. It's like a navy blue. So freaking cute. That one. That's from my mom also. Jared's mom made this one. This is so special. She made this for Brayson. And look how big it is, and it has the frillies on the corner. And this is just so special. Like, do any of you guys have a blankets from when you were younger? If you had them made by your nana or your grandma, grandpa, or your, I don't know who gra or grandpa your mom. sews, but yeah, or your mom. But this one is so friggin' cute, and it's so soft, and it's just really special. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much, Robin. If you watch my videos, I'm not sure if you watch my videos, but if you do. I love it. This is just going everywhere, by the way. Like, I have no, no direction of where I'm going. Some Munchkin Diaper Pail Refill Packs. These are the lavender scent. These are good for any Munchkin Diaper Pail. It holds up to 600 diapers. Munchkin. It's 20 bags. So you definitely need the refill packs. I feel like this is just an, an expense as diapers are for a baby. Got a pack of Pampers Swaddlers, size one. I also got a pack of the Newborn Pampers Swaddlers. 120 in there this pure baby sound sleepers sound machine and star projector Kenley had a pink bear if you have followed me for a while you know about it <coughs> hold on corona <laughs> coronavirus a pink bear that was similar to this and i swore by that thing you would press its arm and it would sing like a really soft song and as a newborn in her bassinet as a baby a couple months old being transitioned into her crib that was just like a lifesaver. She would fall asleep every night. It just soothed her very well. And I figured I'd get one for Brayson. And this one has like that star projector, which I probably won't start using until he is a little bit older, the star projector on the ceiling. But I thought that was so cute. So it has over 10 sounds. It plays 10 lullabies and three soothing sounds. That's like kind of like white noise. On to the baby monitor. So for Kenley, I had a summer's baby monitor i loved it i had no problems with that thing other than it almost catching on fire because her dad not me <laughs> jason um left the top camera he had propped it up on a lamp and left the lamp on and it melted a hole through the bottom of the thing so that camera was awesome i do not go for any wi-fi cameras i'm not a fan of wi-fi cameras they freak me out. I've seen a lot of scary stories about people hacking into the baby cameras, talking to the kids, um, changing the temperature of the room. Like if you have it connected to your nest, if you have like that nest home system or something, it's just not my thing. Cause I just get freaked out. I don't need anyone watching me or my children. So this one is, it looks like it's called Vava. Not positive that's what it is but this had really really good reviews on amazon so this one has tilt and digital zoom on this and it's just like your regular average you know lcd monitor screen and it does have the two-way talk back and forth which i loved because to be able to say to kenley like Shh, it's okay mommy's here <laughs> so i really loved having that for her the two-way talk so yes this is the monitor i almost actually didn't add a monitor on the registry. I almost forgot that we like needed one. I just didn't even think of it. I was like, oh, we need a monitor, hello. Boom on, I love these things. If you don't know what a boom on is, it is a bottle drying rack and it looks like a pad of grass. I think it's wicked cute <laughs> to throw on your counter. And the reason why I love these ones, that it fits so many bottles on it. And I feel like other bottle racks, they have just like individual, you know, like six to 10 or 12, like long poles that you stick the bottles on and stuff. And it's a very limited to what you can put on it. I used to shove so many bottles on this grass and they have little cute, like a little cute tree. They have a little cute flower too that can stick out and you can put the bottle um, rings at the top or the nipples on top of or pacifiers that you just boiled and you can hang them right on there I had a smaller one that was like half this size and I gave it to my sister that was at my mom's but the bigger one was at Jason's and 
Um, as I mentioned before, the baby stuff we had for Kenley, it's pretty much all gone. So, moving on, I need to have a sip of water before I pass out. I just ordered these a couple days ago and they just came in. Three pack of the Dapple dish, bleh, bleh, bottle and dish soap. These are non-toxic, pediatrician and dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, baby friendly, powered by plants. They are fra fragrance free. And it says it removes up to 50% more of milk film. I use these with Kenley. I love the Dapple. I also swore by the Baby Ganix foaming bottle dish soap. That's my favorite one. But for some reason, they were out of stock or something when I looked at them online. But this three pack was like, I think 15 bucks or maybe 12. And it comes with three pumps too. The only thing that I'd say that I don't love about liquid baby dish soap over foaming is... If you put a little too much in and you don't know how much, you know, it was a little too much, you just don't know, it will just, you'll just have to be rinsing the bottle like a hundred times because it will just fill with soap and you know how annoying it is to clean bottles anyways. Moving on to this cute basket. So this says diapers. This is going to go in his nursery for his diapers and it will be in the changing table. I'm going to stick it on the bottom. There's like a cute little shelving there and I'll have all his diapers stacked in here. So in here I put like feeding items, or I tried to put most of the feeding items. We'll start with a Dr. Brown's bottle brush. This is awesome and this bottom unscrews and it has the little thing that you can clean um, the tight areas with those bottles. If you use Dr. Brown's, you know how much they suck to clean, but they're so worth it. So we got a three pack of the Dr. Brown's options bottles. These are for colic, especially Kenley had colic really bad, but regardless, Dr. Brown's is made for that anyways. They're like the best bottle for like colic and gas and stuff. So I got the three pack. These are blue. These are the eight ounces. A six pack here of the Woodland. <laughs> the Woodland bottles. So there's a bear here. There is a squirrel over here with some acorns. And I see the fox. Yep, and there's a fox in here in the middle. And then there's just three of the plain ones right here but these are the eight ounce bottles i got they just ordered these last week i got them on amazon again everything's on amazon i also got a pack of the other woodland type of bottles they're blue i'll insert a picture here and those are really cute they have trees on them and everything i actually laughed so hard because those are actually in the dishwasher right now because monday night when all that stuff happened with my labor scare. I woke up Tuesday morning to <laughs> the bottles in the dishwasher. Jared had to put them in there to wash them to prepare. He's so cute, poor thing. Got a pack of the Munchkin, Munchkin. White Hot Spoons. These are friggin' so Munchkin. cute. They are like the spoons that we had when we were young kids, those rubber ones. I love those. And they tell you when the food is too hot. They'll light up white if it's too hot. So, yeah, we got those. I do have to get a, another pack of spoons. There's their munchkin as well. They're the plastic ones. If you've seen them before, they're like everywhere. It's a white handle with the color all going around it. And they're really cheap. I'm gonna get them at Walmart, but you know, that's not a necessity at this time since he will only be eating baby food around four or five baby. months. And we got some silicone cute bowls. These go right onto the um, placemat or the high chair and they suction on and they got two of those and it comes with two spoons I didn't get them here you go I didn't get them him any more feeding stuff because it's just not a necessity right now again <laughs> okay now we're moving on to bibs I got a ton of them to show you we got plaid got gray I'm trying to like Hold these the right way stripes some deer <laughs> some triangles i don't know <laughs> deer ah wow. and then we got a yellow striped one these are so soft on the inside like so so soft and like i said they're not the ones that like choke them because i've seen some before where they're like literally up here <laughs> that's just so uncomfortable and then there's another stack here so many bandana bibs, I'm not sure how many I put on my registry, but <laughs> apparently a lot. So we got some trees, we got white, which is gonna be ruined, <laughs> black, 
gray arrows. Oh, I'm like putting down like multiples. Mustaches, <laughs> stripes, leaves, deer, <laughs> more triangles, plaid. I love that one. Me too. And then this one is like shapes and stuff. So yeah, we got a lot of those, a lot of those bibs there. And then we got the burp cloth which goes right around your shoulder. These are awesome. If you can see, they extend on the back. So if they puke off your back, you are good to go, girl. But this one is deer. Then there are some arrows. Hope you guys can see in this light because I can't tell if you can, yeah. And then we got some teepees and some stripes. So those are really cute. Yep, they are, they're so short. And we got another pack of burp cloths, a three pack. There's plaid, arrows, and some deer in that one. My friend Carleen got this for him. It's so cute. I've seen this at Marshall's before. It's a burp cloth here, a bandana bib, and a matching hat. That's so freaking cute. Yeah. So the only other thing we need in like the feeding category is we're going to need the Baby Breeza bottle maker. We're getting that this week. It is not something that you need, but it is something I loved to have when I was pregnant with Kenley and had her. It was amazing. It makes the bottles the right temperature. It makes them the right amount of formula and water, and you just don't have to worry about mixing bottles or having, you know, a sitter or, you know, hubby trying to do the bottles and stuff. It's just quick to go, especially in the middle of the night when you're exhausted. You know, you can just pop the bottle on, press the button, and you're good to go. Shake it, and you're good to go. This is a wipes warmer. This one is so cute. I saw this on Amazon. It's actually, like, the highest rated wipes warmer they had. For Kenley, we had the Lionheart wipe warmer, which I'm sure we got that at Babies R Us, RIP, or we got that at Bye Bye Baby. It was awesome, other than the fact that we did not know that there was a pad at the bottom that you were supposed to take out now and then and replace and or soak with water and like put back in. We almost burnt the house down on that occasion as well because we opened it once and it was literally like brown, almost black at the bottom from the heat. It was so dried out. It's a lifetime guarantee. We'll see if that's true or not, but it does light up right here. I think that's really cute. It lights up like a tan color at night and it shuts itself off after 10 minutes with the light being on. It's like one of my favorites. This is the Sit Me Up floor seat. This is very popular with a lot of moms nowadays. This is like a newer item that has just come out and not like recently, but fairly in the last few years, I think. This is apparently awesome for the babies when they're starting to transition to sitting. It has a sturdy base and a comfy fabric seat and they can interact with toys when they're playing on there. And it's just, you know. Oh, and you could carry it. And so you can put it anywhere. You can have it with you when you're doing, you know, laundry or when you're taking a shower and they're a little bit older and stuff and they can sit down. This is like perfect for that. This is the Rock, I think it's called Pebble and Rock Sit Me Up Floor Seat. But yeah, I got this. And I also have a Bumbo seat for him. It Bumbo. is gray. I am not going downstairs to get that thing. That old fashioned, the gray one. Kenley had one of those and I love those because I did feed her her food in there. I probably won't feed him anything in this because it's easily stained and I don't want to try to take that fabric off to clean it. Holy Lanta. Got a box of size one pamper swaddlers. Again, we have a lot of pampers, yes, because I do love pampers. I swear by them. I have tried every diaper out there, and honestly, I do like a few other brands, like maybe one or two others. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Huggies. I don't think they're the worst, though. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Loves. I feel like those leak so bad, and, you know, Target brand diapers, I feel like leak a lot, too, or Walmart. For Kenley, I used Pampers Swaddlers when she was very small and when she transitioned into like the cruisers, which are the purple boxes, she never ever leaked through her diapers and stuff. And I know boys are different, but as far as I know, the Pampers, I definitely swear by. We're moving on to the crib stuff. So this is the mobile for the crib. It is so, so cute. I love this bed set style. So it has a deer, a polar bear and two different colored wolves a brown one and a gray one this is the actual crib set it is the bailey crib set it is so cute i really love this so it has deer bear and 
polar bear and then it has a fox on it and it's a five piece set comes with the quilt crib sheet dust ruffle diaper stacker and wall decals i think that's so cute mm -hmm. so the different colors going on i really love it it's gonna look so cute in his little woodland nursery i kind of wanted to get something gender neutral in case you know if any other babies popping out soon Shh. no i'm just kidding that then we got a pack of, got to go over here to grab this, <clears throat> sensitive <laughs> Pampers baby wipes. This is a pack of um, 576 wipes, fragrance free. I will say I don't like Huggies wipes. That's like Huggies? a for sure that I don't like. Um, the Huggies wipes, I feel like they tear so easy. There's been many occasions where TMI, I have gotten actual poop on my fingernail or in it because they tear so easy and I feel like you can literally just go like this and they tear the Pampers wipes I've never had an issue with they're very thick quality I do also love water wipes and I love the Target brand wipes I think they're called up and up I'm not positive but they are amazing they work so so well and they're just thick quality like the Pampers so I definitely will say I don't mind Huggies diapers, but Huggies I don't diapers. like their wipes. We got an Angel Care bath. I really love this bath. I've used every type of bath, like the regular plastic baths, um, like those spa looking ones, it's just ridiculous. But those are just so big, I feel like, and they're, they fill with water, obviously. You put it in the tub and fill it with water. And I just feel like it's just like a hassle and it's not easy to store. These are so light. It's literally like air. You put it in the bathtub and see how it's like rubbery like that. There's little holes in it. And the water just fills up to whatever level you want it to. And you can use the water around it to wash the baby. I really, really love these baths. So we got one for him. This, can we put this hat on the thing? I'm dead. From Jared's Auntie Peggy. Oh, it's so soft. I love it. I wish I could have one. Kenley actually got one as well. That was really, really nice. I thought of them. They, like a couple people at the shower got Kenley gifts as well. And I thought that was so special and just so thoughtful of them to think of her too, especially because it's her first sibling. But this is a Snuggle Me Too two-piece set. Comes with a blanket and a plush. And the plush is like a pillow. See how his body is like the size. And I think this is a coyote or a wolf or something. But he's so soft. And I think that's so cute, so snuggly. Moving on to this bin here. This is a plaid bin organizer, whatever it's going to be, maybe for toys eventually. But in here, we just got some random miscellaneous things clothes-wise. I am cracking up at how small these mittens are, guys. Like, excuse me? <laughs> what? These are the scratch mittens. Like, how cute and small. I can't get over it. So we got those. Got another pack right here some socks here these are like random that they're in here but i swear by these as well if you were following me with kenley you know that i had these with her in her diaper bag these are reusable pouches for wipes and i swear by these things they come undone here and they close very well you can stick as many wipes as you want in there and then you just have this pop-up thing here for your wipes these are amazing i've used the box ones and i feel like the wipes dry out or they just they don't close good they don't hold enough wipes and they're just like annoying so these i think it's a two pack is like five bucks on amazon these are my go-to for sure i think huggy sells them too in the pouch at like walmart and stuff or target show you a few items of clothes here these are the clothes that i have on hangers so we got some sleep sacks these are the ones with no feet at the bottom so they just kind of jump around there's a fox there is some arrows and then we got those moose characters kind of like this is like the same thing that that blanket my mom got and we got some cute little um porcupines or hedgehogs yeah we got some hedgehog ones the navy blue hedgehogs stripes and then these are some arrows too so those are those sleep sacks then we got white onesies which are always a necessity if you're a new time mom, white onesies, you definitely want to stack up on these because you put them under the baby's PJs and they're just, they go under a lot of outfits. So you definitely want a lot of those. Got some moose 
long sleeves. One here is gray with the moose. There's a striped navy one. And this one's just brown with little moose all over it. This one is so cute. Got some footballs. And we got a gray shirt with a little pocket on it. It's so cute. Get some plaid. And then a, a burgundy one with that pocket. That is so freaking cute. I love that. It reminds me of like Jared. And then we got a striped one right here. A couple other pairs of clothes in there, but again, I'm not gonna go through all the clothes because it's gonna take me 90 years to go through them. This is actually for um, Brayson's pictures in the hospital. This is a moss knotted gown. I'll insert a picture here of what they look like. This is from a company called Candon Lane. I don't know if you guys know about them, but they have the cutest newborn stuff. So it comes with the knotted gown and a hat that matches. It's so cute. I cannot wait to have him in this thing. So I'm gonna actually put this aside for the hospital bag. Here is my diaper bag. This thing is friggin' awesome. This is a half mount diaper bag. It is a backpack, which I love the backpack diaper bags. The reason why is because having a back uh, diaper bag around your shoulder or hanging on your shoulder while having a car seat and like limping your way into places is not fun. A backpack is just so much easier and if you have multiple kids, you can put more stuff in it. It has a pocket on the back as well as pockets on each side here that are insulated and the inside is very deep in there and it's got lots of pockets and lots of room my mama got this for me and she actually put some stuff in it the front pocket as well has bottle pockets each of these pockets are insulated so that's awesome to have to keep your food cold for the baby or their bottles so in here, we just got some Motrin infant's drops, must have, goo, that's a butt paste, some gas relief drops, saline spray and drops for when they're really congested, some Aquaphor baby, this is the three in one diaper rash cream. Aquaphor is awesome, I swear by that stuff. A tub of the Aquaphor baby, that's good for skin, sensitive skin, diaper rashes. Baby Dove wipes, I'm gonna keep this in the diaper bag. I've never used the Baby Dove wipes, but I've used their wash and I do like it. Also a little zipper down here that looks like it's for like soiled stuff or soiled food. They just have so much storage in this thing, I love it. So yeah, this is the diaper bag and this is what it looks like on. It's cute, it's real cute. The big stuff, I'm just gonna like bring the camera to the big stuff to show you guys because <laughs> Mama can't lift right now. This is a tree looking wooden bin. diaper bin, uh, not diaper bin, but toy bin or anything. You can use it for pretty much anything. I filled this with the books that he got from the shower. Um, this is a really cute book. This is like my first book. It's like a plush one. A couple of my favorite books growing up. I love that. Yes. Oh, and I, and I have that fox book that I just ordered. This one, I love this book too. Yes, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but there are lots of books in here. Oh. And then um, I read this one to Kenley the other day, A Little Bear Won't Sleep, but there's a lot of small books like this, the sensory stuff in them, the study book where you can like touch and feel, and that's really good to have. I like building their library. When they're small, a good idea to do that for, if you're having like your first baby shower, is to ask in the invitations to have them write on the first page of the book what they'd write in a card rather than giving a card. That way you can build the baby's library. It's a really good idea. And then we got this car mirror, huge must have. Gotta be able to see the baby back there. <laughs> this is something light, so I'll show you this. This is the activity. <laughs> I'm in the way. This is the activity gym slash play mat. It is the silver lining cloud one. I thought this was the cutest one because it looks so thick and it just had really cute um, attachments on it. But it was rated one in the parents magazine. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Ugh. But yeah, that's the silver lining cloud activity gym. And this is by Skip Hop. 
So we got that there. Thank you, John, if you're watching this video. Thank you. I love you. John's one of my best friends. So, like I told you guys, it's full of clothes and like receiving blankets. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to show you some stuff. So we got Burt's Bees reversible blanket. This one's so cute. It has trees on it. And it's more on the lightweight side than the blankets I just showed you. Those are like winter blankets. So it's good to have. These are very good to have during warmer months and fall and stuff. They're receiving blankets and you can wrap them in these as well. This one has like airplanes and blue colors. These we opened because we were rushing to make a hospital bag the other night. But this one has mousse. There's a plaid one. There's actually two different plaid colors. They're like rolled up. And then... There's trees. I love the smell of those trees. Yeah, they're so pretty. So this is a pack of eight, pack of seven. This has like turtles and dinosaurs. There's stars, stripes, solid colors, giraffes. So those are nice to have. There's a lot of blankets on here. I put a lot of blankets. I actually got from a subscriber. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a car seat cover for the winter. It has polar bears and mountains on it has the two straps to hold up on the bar and it opens in the middle so you can see them. I, I didn't have one of these for Kenley. I used to just like throw a blanket on her but you can't leave that on them for a while because they can't breathe and you can't see them. Wow, it's pouring rain right now. I just had a heart attack. I was like, what is that noise? Am I gonna have to fight someone? I'm gonna show you guys some clothes, not all. Oh, I also got this bamboo, bamboo. Bamboo, bamboo muslin swaddle blank muslin swaddle blanket. I'm actually putting this aside with his little outfit because I'm taking that to the hospital. Got some onesies, these are zero to three, so I'm also putting those in there. So we're gonna jump to a couple clothes to show you guys. We got some PJs here, these are so cute, little elephants, so soft. This is so cute. Look at this. This reminds me of Jared. Oh my god. Yeah, that and look at these pants. Like, excuse me. That reminds me what? of Johnny. <laughs> so cute. That reminds me of Johnny. Little Johnny. These two PJs, these are like my favorite. The little bear um, on this one. And then look at the bears on this one. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. I just cannot. These are really cute. They're like three piece outfits. It says little man. Oh. And it comes with these pants. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> with this hat. Like, excuse me? <laughs> no, she got off. <laughs> Carter's. There's a striped one, another striped one, and a bear one, which is obviously my friggin' favorite here. We love the bears. Gerber has a lot of really good full onesie packs. Gerber. They have so many good ones. This is like a bunch of them right here. Um, there's fox, foxes. They're just so cute. And they're such a reasonable price. They just come in like a bulk pack. I will save the animals. That's so cute. We'll move mountains. <laughs> so freaking cute. Be a little wild. These are more on the light side. We've got these. It just has some stars on it. This is over the moon for you. This one is clouds. A couple of these. These are so cute. So there's a sweatshirt that has the little plaid on it and then the pants like <laughs> what <laughs> and then there's a brown one similar to that and the pants and then there's just a couple of that color too like gray and whatnot those are so cute though military printed sweatshirt with these little joggers oh like gosh. so cute this is definitely going to be a christmas picture outfit this is like almost like a legit dress shirt but it's a legit full-on onesie suit Okay, I'll show you one more because this one's really cute. This one is Baby Bear. And it has these pants <laughs> with this hat. Like, <laughs> I cannot. So yeah, there's a bunch of clothes in here. Oh, one more thing I gotta show you because, girl, his first pair of friggin' Carhartt overalls. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are 18 months. I cannot wait to get this boy in these pants because they are so freaking cute. He's gonna look just like his dad. Okay, so that's like the clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys this. This is like not irrelevant because it's from the shower, but you're gonna <coughs> you're gonna laugh your butt off. So my meme, 
she came to see me as you guys know she surprised me and aside from her gifts she got for Brayson she got me a gift pickles <laughs> a jar of freaking pickles I never laughed so hard in my life it's like the best gift you could ever give me I love pickles we're actually low on pickles so good thing I didn't add that on the grocery list because girl we got them right here I'm gonna show you guys with my hand <laughs> the rest of the stuff so we got a on-the-go baby dome. I kind of glanced at that earlier. That is awesome for inside or outside. You take it to the beach, you can take it to play dates, you could take it outside on the porch if you're having a cookout or just in the house. But yeah, it has a adjustable mm. canopy for sun protection, toys and stuff, and it folds up like into that flat, flat thing. I've heard a lot of good things about them. A lot of people seem to like them. Jumping on to this, uh, this is my Munchkin Arm & Hammer diaper pail. I will insert a picture of it here. This, I swear by, I've had two different diaper pails. I think one of them was a Playtex Diaper Genie and then I had a Munchkin one. The Munchkin one is friggin' amazing. It's the best as far as smell and scent, like covering it up and not having it, you know, spew out when you change the um pale refills or when you put a diaper in these are just awesome so i got one of those i also got the high chair which we're not going to set up right now that one i will insert a picture here as well this one is awesome because it is just easy to clean it looks simple it's not too bulky i don't like chunky bulky high chairs that are just in the way and you're tripping all over them it has a very modern design and it has a lot of good reviews on it and apparently it's easy to build um, i was actually going to get the stokey trip trap high chair i had that for kenley but they're 350 dollars like girl and they're also just not really that comfy and i felt like they were just really hard to work with the tray is so hard to get off of the trip trap high chair it's just unreal if anyone's helping out with the baby or anything like you're screwed it's just very hard to take that um tray off and this one has two trays so one can be pulled off the top and you can just wash it really quick take the baby in and out it looks very comfy and has those steps on it it's just a really cute high chair and it was just re very reasonably priced because the 350 dollars no we got his first swing here i hope this was so cute and this one is actually six months nine months and up i think the other ones that i've seen before are like a year and up so this is like more of a, a smaller baby one but these are so cute you hang them on the tree and you swing them kenley had a blue one at my mom's got a humidifier this is the crane one we had an elephant crane one for kenley these are awesome they're very low maintenance. You do have to clean it once in a while with vinegar and stuff, but as long as you take care of things, they will last. But I find that this is probably one of the best ones, the polar bear one. And then we got this Snap and Go Premier stroller. I've never had one of these, but it's awesome because we have two Chico car seats, which just snap right in there. So it's very lightweight. And you can take that anywhere with you, snap it in, go to the mall, go to the store, wherever you need to go. Super easy to use. And then this one, you can't see a picture of it. I don't even know what it looks like. It's very heavy. It says that it's one of those, um, not a play gym. It's like one of those octagon shaped things that you put the baby in. And it seems like it's heavy, so maybe it's wood. But it's like a pen that you put them in, in a way. Okay, I could pick this up. You strong. And two more things here. This is the changing pad for the changing table. And then we got the Juan Meadows Deluxe Bouncer. I'll put a picture of that here. That is so cute and I cannot wait for him to get in there. Right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super long, but I wanted to get through all that with you. Unfortunately, that first video did not work, so I had to film another one. And I feel like I was really out of breath that first one anyway, so... Anywho, now that I'm done with that, I can finally get these things put in their spots in the house. I have that video for you guys about the Padrama labor and the what's in my hospital bag. That'll be one video together. I'll have that for you in a few days posted. And then I will have the nursery video for you guys late this weekend, maybe into Monday, Tuesday. We'll see. But for now, I just have to put this stuff with this madness where it goes and Jared does not want me to lift anything right now so 
he'll be helping me and then I just have to finish up the nursery so I can show you guys so yeah we are I thought we were in that home stretch but we are closer because it seems like baby Brayson is ready to come at any moment so I need to be prepared for that I gotta get to the grocery store before they close so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye, bye. <laughs> Thank you.